Instagram, Facebook, how you guys doing? Let's take a look. I always like looking at this motel, this hotel residence. My residence in by Marriott just took like two to three years to build because of COVID. But they kept at it till they got it. Be know me, Mark Morris, 53, 26 years in sales. Started 202bdbroke.com. We cost back in 2014, lost two duplexes to foreclosure. I was owed like $94,117 on the student loan debt. Owed another $14,000 line of credit. It's paying an extra $5,000 every couple of months for a probate issue. And I started this YouTube channel. Go take a look at it back in 2014. I said, hey, if I ever get through all this crisis, I just want to have it all documented. But one day I can just go back and look at some of the things I did. So back now, um, time, 2021, all my credit cards are paid off. All lines of credit paid off. Now I'm down to a car loan with about $2,348 for 2014 Camry. Down to $19,995 for the student loan, paying it off. Then I got a, so I'm able to put up a 26.7% on my income, which is about $1,600 for one check. And then I have a part-time check I'll get tomorrow. That's $100, and I put together about 16% of that check. And I'm putting that money away so I can do something called passive income. So when I started to old to be to broke .com, the focus of the business, I came up with finally this year after all the COVID stuff, gas going up to $5.09 an hour. You just need to have a business where you help people just make more money as they grow older, man. Just say, you know the only way you can make money? You got to either work or do passive income. All of us have done the work. I'm 53. We all know about the work. Now I'm working on that passive income angle. There used to be a time when you would put money in the bank. You guys don't know about this. You get $1,000 back, $100 back a month by putting $1,000, $10,000. $1,000 passive income. I mean, the money would just, you would just get paid for putting your money in the bank. I don't care if they lent it to Grant Cardone, Alicia Cardone, Chase, whatever, REIT, whatever. You got your money, you got interest on that money. And that was called passive income. So that's what we're working on right now. So when I started 202beatlebroke.com, I realized the only way you're going to get extra money to put away, you got to learn how to, you got to pay off the car loans, get that car loan reduced so you can start redirecting some of that money to other investment. You got to get your credit cards paid off. Credit cards are 29%, 30% now. There's really no use to have a credit card unless you can pay that money off within one or two months. There are no, there's no investment in the world that'll give you 30% return on your money. So now your credit card is basically, you, you are a slave. When you get a credit card, you better have an excellent strategy to use it. Rather than getting a credit card, I recommend you just go get a line of credit. Try to get you a line of credit for 10 to 15% so you can pay that money off. Credit card is a waste of money now. It's just the way you, if you don't do it properly, you'll be in debt forever. That's what I learned. That's what I've learned. At least back in my time, it was 15, 20%. Now it's 29%, 29.99% starting off. Don't miss a payment. They've been hitting up to 35, man. It's worse than the mafia. If you're going to get some money, just go to the pawn shop. I do that. I've done it before. Go to the pawn shop and just get you some money out, man. So you got to pick those credit cards. And the only way you got to do it, I have some strategies. You can buy my stuff or you can do it yourself, man. I know a lot of you guys want to do it yourself. That's all right. So, hey, you want to have a fancy car with six roommates? That's up to you, man. You got to do what you got to do, man. I'm just saying, hey, let me help you pay off your car loan earlier. I paid off a car loan in 19 months. Paid off a 2007 BMW in about 37 months. I'm paying off my 2014 Camry. It'll be paid off in uh, under... 40 months, so you got to get these cars paid off, especially now. Gas is $5.09, man. I saw this Mercedes parked across from my office. <sighs> Another luxury car on a donut. The goal of the donut is not to drive around. It's, it's, it ain't a spare tire, man. I just look at these people with these donuts on these luxury cars, which I mean like a Beamer, Audi, or any car, mostly on the older cars. So some of the more 2012 or earlier, you may have a full-size spare. All these other cars, these people got these donuts and stuff. I'm like, what, what are you doing, man? The goal is to get from your area to the dealer. You need to be driving around for no two or three weeks. You know what I'm saying, man? So I have one program, one, it's a 120, 230, $300 program, help you pay off your car loan. All I'm gonna do is just show you a spreadsheet, talk to you how about, I went out and earned money. 
Only way you're going to get that car loan paid off is to make money. I'm going to talk to you about my student loan program, 300, 400, 5,000 program. Talk to you about my mentorship program. That's a $500 program. We will look at my videos from 2014. We find the best 10 to 15 videos and we go over those for about 30 days. Or I help you with the Grand Cardone Clover Survival Guide. Excellent book. I sell the book for $50 and I have some other programs. One program goes up to $135. I have another program which is just $299 a month. Different programs, different levels. So, not much to say today. Gas is still $590 to $509. I was just thinking the biggest thing that kind of caught me by surprise is AEG. The crypto people spending $500, $700 million over 22 years. That is some bank. That is just all, but it's all promotion, promotion. Just think of how much publicity. It's just, I just like fascinated how this has become just mostly a, a, a promotion world. It has nothing to do with what you produce. Weed is legal. You got a whole generation of kids working in warehouses, and no, you ain't warehouse workers. When I worked the Petavina Mold and Die, I ran the lathe. I helped Steve put the mold in the CNC machine. I did soldering. I did welding that's a warehouse then i packed a box then i took it to the people and i collected a check all you guys doing these warehouses move shit around man you might as well be a mover man if you ever ever get laid off you're thinking what can i do be a, I'm a fucking mover because that's all you do is move shit around you don't weld some of you guys do the logistics parts but other stuff push the button like reminds me of like fred friendstones man yeah i'm talking about you amazon people man because i'm tired of you guys in your fancy cars passing me up $14 an hour, then coming home and living with six roommates, man, it's nasty, man. And now let me get started on some of you guys who live at home with your cool cars, bringing your girlfriend home. I'm not, this is my girlfriend, I gotta be a BMW, BMW. we're gonna go back to my room. Taboo, taboo, that's what I'm saying, man. So go look at my 202bdbroke.com, sign up, sign up to my YouTube channel. Today, I would just want to tell you, let me give you a quick close of the day for some of you guys who are in retail because you guys to go out there and make that money, man. Whatever people are out partying and vacationing, I want you to make money. Straight from Grant Cardone Closers Bible Guide. This is an excellent one. Martin, I need to talk to my spouse, blah, blah, blah. I haven't used this one tonight myself. Better to ask for, for hey, sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness. So let's get you going right away. Sign here and here. Martin, I want to make sure I'm getting over that. You know, sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. I need your signature here, here, and here. Martin, I'm really it's just like, hey, I know you, it may be a problem. Sometimes they may just maybe make it up. Okay, why don't you just do it anyway? Man up, man. Woman up. What do you mean I'm checking? Who are you going to check with 50% divorce rate? You checking with the judge? Are you checking with the lawyer? So 50-50, just do something, man. Let your partner know you're taking initiative. Excellent sales technique. All right, you guys. Got to go. 202 Subscribe to my website. Do like AEG. Make the money so you can make the market.